OpenAI just launched its own browser, ChatGPT Atlas, and ChatGPT Atlas is available right away for macOS users. I guess it's only for macOS, Apple Silicon, but you can try it out. So this is a new browser that is built on top of Chromium. This is something that they did not mention during the live stream. So people are wondering on what OpenAI's Atlas is built, and Atlas is OpenAI's Mac browser built on top of Chromium. So Chromium is this open source project. I think that's primarily from Google, which is the browser platform for all these browsers like Perplexity, Chrome, Brave, and all these browsers. So the same way Atlas is built on top of Chromium, that means you should be able to use it fairly simply if you have already used Chromium based browsers, including extensions and all sort of thing. Now, before we get into the video, the most important question is, do you need ChatGPT Atlas? So the answer to that question, the simple answer to the question is, if you have ever used Dia by the Arc browser, the browser company, or Perplexity Comet, then you don't need ChatGPT Atlas. But if you have never used any of these two browsers and you have been fascinated about how you can automate your Chrome or Brave or any sort of browser, then ChatGPT Atlas might blow your mind. But if you have used any of those two browsers that I mentioned, it is going to be utterly disappointing and also in fact you would not like the browser why because everything around ChatGPT atlas is around ChatGPT. so as the name suggests it's ChatGPT atlas so if you have hated iphone ecosystem you are literally entering into the ChatGPT ecosystem so you have to sign in with ChatGPT. you have to uh, ask question through only ChatGPT. you can use ChatGPT agent i mean that's a good thing and also a bad thing because you wouldn't necessarily want your browser entirely around one ecosystem which is personally my opinion. In fact, the reason I don't use Perplexity Comet as my daily driver is exactly the same. I don't want my browser browsing activities entirely depending upon one AI company. I use primarily Brave as my daily driver. And that is also another reason why I may not use ChatGPT Atlas as my daily driver because ChatGPT Atlas seems to not block ads by default. I love Brave for the same reason. I love Brave because it blocks ad by default, it helps me in making my browsing experience faster. There are some very good things about ChatGPT Atlas. One, you have the sidebar where you can ask questions to ChatGPT about anything on your browser. Could be a Slack thread, could be a Reddit could post, or could be anything else. You can just go ask ChatGPT, which is a really good experience, if, especially if you have used Perplexity Comet, then you know that is one of the best features of Perplexity Comet where you can open a YouTube video, ask questions about it. The next thing is you have got the agent mode which can do browser automation for you. You can go to Amazon, ask it to add certain things in cart. You can go to Linear or Jira and then ask it to do project management things. So it can do those things. And finally, you have got this very small extension where you can highlight a text and then ask it to do like, make this uh, simplified, uh, make this sound uh, like a professional, make this do this, make this do that. So these are the features we have been already using with different sort of extensions and now ChatGPT wants to centralize this and then give it to you as one single browser and then use it. And if you are a paranoid person just like me about if you should allow ChatGPT to see everything, are you comfortable in ChatGPT looking at your bank statement, then there is a mode where you can disallow ChatGPT from looking into it. So for example, you can just go select not allow or you can even open the tab in incognito mode. So in these two cases, ChatGPT will not look into what you are browsing. And this is a promise that OpenAI is trying to tell you. I think this is slightly part of the enterprise push where companies might adopt it. But for personal use, I don't know how much people would trust ChatGPT or OpenAI being very honest about this particular feature. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide whether you want to use Atlas or not. But for me personally, I'm not going to use Atlas anytime soon. And Atlas is going to be free, but certain features like agent mode will be available only for ChatGPT plus users or pro users. Right now, ChatGPT Atlas is only available for Mac OS, but they have got uh, ambitions, aspirations to bring it to Windows, iOS and Android. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about ChatGPT Atlas if you would end up using it, but otherwise see you in another video. Happy prompting.